All right, now new at 11, a random act of kindness that goes viral. Have you seen this picture? It's just awesome. A 23-year-old employee for a Tampa moving company gets stuck in an elevator with a 79-year-old senior at a senior living facility and then becomes a human chair so the 79-year-old woman can get off her feet. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer live at the Grand Court Tampa on Bay Shore. Aaron, it's easy to smile when you look at that picture. Uh, this was no laughing matter, though, for that senior citizen, right? Yeah, you got to consider this, Mark. She already has trouble walking and, and breathing. So when those elevator doors shut and then the elevator stopped, she started to have a little bit of a panic attack, thinking, what, what's she going to do next? Well, she says it's a good thing that somebody else was in there with her. Going up. This is where a twist of fate. This is right where I was. And a broken elevator brought Rita Young and Cesar Larios together. Bless his heart, he was right right next door to me. Larios is a mover with college hunks hauling junk and was working a job at Grand Court Tampa, a senior living facility. You have to excuse me because I don't walk very fast. Rita had just made her way to the elevator at the same time as Larios. We got going and then all of a sudden it stopped. This picture, taken after the doors opened, captures the amazing act of kindness that happened next. Staring at a long wait for firefighters. I can't stand 40 minutes. The 23-year-old offered his back so a 79-year-old stranger could stay off her feet. And he put his arm around me. He said, no, you don't get upset. He said, I'm here and I'm going to take care of you. I just feel like I was doing the right thing. And he did it for a half an hour. She kind of started putting her weight on my back little by little. And then after a few seconds, she was just like chilling on my back. The photograph shows the smile on Rita's face. Her appreciation goes far deeper. His mom, she should be very proud to have to have raised a son what would do something like that. A young man with a sturdy back and a big heart. Well, I do consider him my special angel. I think that's pretty awesome. I would one day like to shake his hands and tell him thank you very much for keeping me calm. Yeah, for the first 15 minutes of this, Caesar says he was pretty much fine, but after that, for the second 15 minutes. He kind of had to alternate arms, keep one arm on the ground and then the other one in the air and kind of keep that blood flowing into his hands. We're live in Tampa. Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.